I used to perform for a few hundred spectators on a Broadway stage. Now I can reach millions every night in a vast theater of the imagination. That's the miracle of radio. And what are you doing with this miracle, Orson? To what great project have you applied it? The advancement of knowledge? The good of mankind? No. You are producing lurid melodramas and selling canned soup. Well, you can call that the cost of doing business, Mr. Wells. Do you have the term shill in America? A fascinating debate between two minds, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you think you're talking to, you old has-been? Gentlemen, please. Perhaps we should save the excitement for tomorrow night? For listeners just tuning in, I am joined tonight by Mr. H.G. Wells, world-renowned author and scholar, and Mr. Orson Wells, the hottest talent on the airwaves. These two great minds will meet tomorrow at Princeton University in a seminar entitled Radio and the Future. Orson, let's talk about your radio version of Shakespeare's Henry IV. It's been hailed by many critics as a work of undeniable genius. It certainly moved a lot of chicken noodle. You old windbag, how <laughs> dare you? What the hell was that? I don't know. Some kind of feedback. We're off the air. Something we said? No. We're not transmitting. How long have you been broadcasting dead air, Carl? Well, everything's fine here. Maybe there's something wrong with the tower. Well? your help. You were right about me. Could we discuss this later? I doubt it. This is QXQL. Can anyone hear me? QXQL? Grover's Mill. Please, respond. Isn't there anyone on the air? Isn't there anyone on here? Are you ready to die, Mr. Wells? What sort of question is that? All my life, great things were expected of me. Orson, the boy wonder. Orson, the genius. I was supposed to do great things. I wasn't supposed to die in a damned radio station in Grover's A piece is of the nature of a conquest. A piece is of the nature of a conquest. That's me. It's a my voice. Of the nature of a conquest. My God. So it is. A piece is of the nature of a conquest. Henry the Fourth. You performed it last year. On the radio. A piece is of the nature of a conquest. What do they want? 
Perhaps... Perhaps they chose this station for a reason. What if they heard you, Lois? What if they want to talk? You want me to have a conversation with myself? The next line, Lois. What good will that do? Do you have a better idea? A piece is of the nature of a conquest. A piece is of the nature of a conquest. For then both parties nobly are subdued. And neither party loser. Go, good Lord Hastings, and ere they be dismissed. Let them march by. Go on, Orson. But for you rebels, look to taste the dew. Meet for rebellion and such acts as yours. Most shallowly did you these now arms Lord, commence. Our navy is addressed, our power collected. Like a strange tongue. Sir, I will be as good as my word. This that you heard was but a color. My fear is your displeasure. My courtesy, your duty. And my speech to beg your pardon. My tongue is weary. When my legs are too, I will bid you good night and so kneel down before you. just wanted to talk. Incredible. This is going to change everything. We're not alone, we know that now. The implications are more than we can fathom. Politics, religion, just imagine how people will react when we tell them. Imagine the excitement. What? Imagine the terror. The Columbia Broadcasting System and its affiliated stations present Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater on the Air in the War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man's, yet as mortal as his own. We know now that as human beings busy themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied, perhaps almost as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. Yet across an immense ethereal gulf, minds that are to our minds as ours are to the beasts in the jungle, intellects, vast, cool and unsympathetic, regarded this earth with their envious eyes and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. Mm -hmm.